Welcome to Fergelli Automations. I'd like to introduce you to our classic linear actuator line. These are probably the most common type of actuators we carry because they have a proven quality and are so versatile. Also, because we carry them in so many different strokes and speeds and forces. Our classic style actuator has been copied many times by other manufacturers, but only for Gelly has been the manufacturer of these for 15 years and have therefore perfected these models quality and build process. Now let me tell you about the specifications of this actuator. Firstly, we offer the largest stroke range off the shelf and in stock at all times. They start at one inch stroke and go to 24 inches in nine different variant strokes. We also offer these actuators in 12 VDC or 24 VDC, as well as in forces of 35 to 150 pounds and a whopping 200 pounds force for those applications that require extra effort. Now let's help you choose the right actuator for your application. Typically, you start by choosing the stroke you need. This means the distance you need to move your object, and you can simply measure this with a rule in inches. Now actuators automatically stop themselves as they get to the end of their stroke in both the open and closed position, so you don't have to worry about stopping the actuators in time. In fact, if you happen to need the actuator to stop at a very specific location, then you can go ahead and use our EL kit. It's custom. The EL kit has a two limit switch and approximately 12 feet of wiring and also two fuses for overload protection so that you can project the actuator from overloading. These limit switches can be installed into your mechanism to ensure that the motion stops where you want it to so you don't need to rely on the internal limit switches of the actuator if you don't want to, which in some applications you may need to do that. For example, let's say you need an 11 inch stroke and you want to use our 12 inch stroke actuator. Well, in this case, using the external limit switch from the EL kit will allow you to do exactly that and control accurately the end of the stroke limit. Now, please remember, the wiring diagram here is on our website under that product. Just type in, in the search bar, EL kit to go ahead and find it. Now, when you're selecting the right actuator for your application and the correct force that you need, Here's a little tip to help you decide which actuator is the best one for your application. Force and speed trade off on each other. Now, by this I mean that the higher the force you choose, the lower the speed will be. And so the lower the force you select, the faster the actuator will move. This is simply because the gear ratios we use inside the actuators need to be changed to get different forces. If you need forces above 200 pounds or longer strokes or more speed, you can take a look at our other actuators such as the high force actuator or industrial actuators. Or for faster actuators, we have high speed models as well. Now, once you have selected the ideal force, you need to choose the voltage. Most people choose 12 volts because most cars, boats, planes, and so on all use 12 volts. If you're using the actuators in the home, 12 volt DC power supplies are not dangerous to use. We also offer 12 VDC power supplies if you need them, as well as 12 VDC batteries. Now to install these actuators, you have a couple of options. Firstly, each actuator comes with a clevis on each end. This is simply a hole where you can attach a bracket or if you're able to connect the actuator directly to your application, that's even better. Most people use a bracket that we'll call the MB1 bracket. These brackets fit onto both ends of the actuator and allows the actuator to rotate. Also, for many applications, 
This may be required as it's extending and retracting. This is what the actuators look like once the brackets are installed. Now, you don't have to use these brackets on both ends. You can simply use one on one end or for extra flexibility, we offer a bracket that fits on the body of the actuator called MB6. MB simply stands for mounting bracket. These brackets simply slide over the main body and you tighten them up to fix them in that correct position. These actuators come with a two wire configuration. This just means the wiring of them could not be easier. It's simply one wire to positive of the power supply and the other to the negative of the power supply and then the actuator will extend or retract. Reversing the wires makes the actuator go in the opposite direction. To do this with a switch, you can simply use one of our switches. We offer both a flush mounting style rocker switch or our toggle switch. The choice is yours. Both of these switches are offered in either the sustaining type or momentary. This is basically because either the switch stays in position when you press it or it springs back to the off position when you let go. These switches have three positions, up, down, and the center off position. Now you can also control them using a remote control if you prefer. Simply use our two channel or four channel remote control. Wiring for all of these are also online on each product page, but these allow you to control the actuators wirelessly using a radio frequency so you can get a long range of operation. Finally, we offer attractive pricing discounts for volume orders. Please go ahead and email us to get our pricing structure. And I just want to say thank you for listening. We hope that you find exactly what you've been looking for.